Welcome! It's a new day! Today, we are welding on some frame stiffeners and installing a front drive shaft. So, uh, in our last video, you guys saw us tack up everything uh, for the rear four link. And in this video, we have some more welding to do. Uh, we ended up going Iron Rock Off-Road Frame Stiffeners and a custom-built coal front drive shaft. Yep. And, like I said, uh, in our last video, you guys saw us tack everything on. It's now fully welded in, and it looks sick. Friday, uh, Cole ended up throwing on our Amazon Special Brakes. Uh, he ran an Amazon Special Brake Line. And brake hoses. Amazon built. But, uh, unfortunately, for the rear drive shaft, uh, we do have a drive shaft worked out. Uh, we got it off of a buddy named Tommy. If you guys didn't see his uh, walk around video, his Jeep, sick. Uh, it's a really nice drive shaft. It's from a local place uh, here in Northern Michigan, Valley. Tommy, if you're seeing this, it was in the scrap pile, so it's fair game. I bought a Valley drive shaft before, loved it, and I will most likely be redoing these drive shafts. Uh, maybe not the rear, but for sure the front because Cole built it and I don't want anything Cole built under my Jeep. You wouldn't want to just scrap this Jeep then. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the drive shaft we built, Cole is super proud of. Cole, tell me how you built this drive shaft. So I took a stock one, which is like usually this length. Stock front. Yep, stock front, and shortened it two inches. And it has enough slip still, and all of that good stuff, and welded it back in. And no, it's not balanced, it's not anything. It is literally cut, plumbed up, every, it's just, it's gonna work. This is my fifth one that I've built, and I've run them down the highways before, unbalanced, never had an issue, so I don't wanna hear it in the comments. You hear that? Put it down in the comment section of how you think that that's gonna work out. <laughs> I think it's gonna work out great. Cole's built a bunch of them. I've owned a bunch of Cole built drive shafts and uh, I've never really had an issue. But anyways, we are going to get these frame stiffeners on and we're also gonna throw that front drive shaft in just cause it's something we gotta do. Uh, and then, we could have a drivable Jeep, but I don't have rear wheels and tires other than my rollers, so that doesn't necessarily count. Caleb's rollers. Yeah, well, Caleb's rollers. Shout out to Caleb. But, we're gonna get at it. One thing I did forget to mention in this video is that that plate right there I'm holding in my hand is a custom built plate. Uh, it was Cole's idea to delete the fuel hose uh, notch in the frame. We cut this section out from where our coils were mounted and we are now placing it in that little area right up there as you're gonna see in a few moments um but yeah i forgot to mention that in the video it 
Is that not sick or what? All right, excuse me for being so dirty. Um, we got it all welded up. Frame stiffeners are on. Iron Rock Off-Road, you guys nailed the front and center, but the rear, the rear sucked. Um, partially is Blue Collar's fault. This side, uh, the passenger side, seems a little bit more rusty on the inside, so welding to it was a pain. But the frame stiffener, the frame stiffeners themselves, we couldn't bend them to save our lives to get them to fit correctly. Uh, the fitment sucked. The fitment sucked. The fitment sucked. It was really, really bad. And but we did it. They're, they're on. They're, they're just, on. They're just not pretty. But the paint, paint will cover that. Right, yeah. They're not pretty. Usually, we don't grind them down. Um, we had to grind them down. <laughs> we had to grind them down. They they looked bad. Um, this side this side it was a little more cleaner. And <clears throat> uh, we know the inside of the unibody rail is like spotless. So this side is like really nice. And it welded good. Uh, fitment still sucked, but what can you do? We did kind of put these coil buckets in the way. Yeah. <laughs> but. They would have still sucked without it. They would, a hundred percent. They would have for sure still sucked without the, uh, coil buckets. We got brakes, coils, four link. We got brake line ran. And we have a front drive shaft. Oh, and one last thing. If you guys remember in our last video when I said we had that scrap piece of pipe laying around for our uh, coil bucket, there was a motive behind that. Cole, what was the motive? Bump stops. That's right. That pipe we had laying around fit a bump stop perfectly. And we knew that before, before we uh, welded that on. Because Cole wanted to do it on his Jeep, but uh, it was with a different pipe, wasn't it? Yeah, I used the wrong size stuff because I was in a hurry. But we got the right size stuff, and it fit a bump stop perfectly. Now, we did have to run a self-tapper through the back. No, it fit perfectly. And yeah, it fit perfectly. So, we're stoked about that. I'm most likely going to have to run a one or two, maybe three pucks. We haven't got that far yet, but it is what it is. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.